I'm Henry Smith. This is my fifth year as a teacher at Buxton. I teach freshman English. Architecture. Music history. Soccer. Progressive education. All of that. This class really came out of student interest. A number of students were talking about wanting to understand better the ideas that are put into practice here. It wasn't like they were doing busy work. It was work that they were interested in, which makes a huge difference. So I feel like you no, know, we should come up with the basic structure for like, the kind of learning that I like would make a lot of sense, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it would make sense. No, I, I like that idea. Having a senior class filled with people who were ready to lead it themselves, you know, and pursue the material on their own terms meant we could really go where they wanted to, which was great. I'm going to be a social worker, you know, like, will pre-calc help me? And he was like, pre-calc might not help you, but it might open somebody else's eyes in the class. I guess I know more about Buxton. It's like more complicated than I thought it was. Working on creating a school that doesn't exist, but it's existing for us. It's a sixth to ninth grade charter school. Pretty much just designing everything. Buildings itself, like the architecture of the campus. Brian's drawing a picture of the school. We have a window? And the classes and the structure, the philosophy. And everything ceramics class. The first part, I introduce students to ceramics, wedging, throwing, hand building. Part two and three focus on history. Maybe even well, to me, this, yeah. I mean, to me, this, this screams out to be tied in with yeah, that can be tied in with what we're working on for our like social sciences. And then I really want to do an end of the year big project where a student chooses from these different cultures and does a paper and a ceramics piece Whoa. from that. Oh. <laughs> I really want to do this right now. Wow. Big project. That, no, we straight up the the big project at the end of the year with the writing assignment. Like that's like all my hand right now. Like, that was there. Big project writing. Like, bam. Everybody in that room has spent the last 13 years of their life in school. In some ways, everybody's sort of an expert on their own educational experience. And so it's not even just about education. It's about like our life so far right. and growing up. And so we've been talking about a lot of much larger topics at the same time. Just like being a kid or being an adult, like life, like, like what is it death. Right. Uh. When you're studying like an elective and it's something that you get to choose, I think that it's much more compelling when it's connected to other things that you're doing. So you're saying like we choose yeah. like a general theme for three weeks. Right. And then all with the classes will remain in place, but that I would, those classes yeah, would reflect just, that idea. Yeah. If a school is a place where people become educated, what does that mean? Connections to like all these different interests that you have, and like mm -hmm. exposing the kids to like, oh, how does art relate in agriculture? In some ways, we've arrived at consensus, and in other ways, it's it's such a personal topic. I think it's important to have requirements. But then, if you don't have requirements, then that all of a sudden opens up a system where the whole school will function and the class will function in a way that's very organic. Having my specific requirements, even though they could be obnoxious could also like yeah. make people like realize that yeah. they actually like something that they wouldn't have dabbled in before. Analyzing the curriculum. I think I envisioned something that seems to tie together all of those things. It has to do with not only what you want your present to be, but what you want your future to be. Put everything out on the table and be like, here are the requirements, here's like what you can choose from. Yeah, for me there's a big difference, right, between like rigor for rigor's sake mm -hmm. yeah. and then rigorous because... Rigorous for like personal sake. Right. right. Trying to like get them to move from making those decisions on a strictly egotistical level to making them on a more institutionally conscious level. Does that make mm -hmm. sense? Yeah. 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 Well, I think Making it for the right reason. We need to teach the ninth graders that yeah. they have, they have to like watch over the younger kids and like push them in the right direction. For me, it's articulated many of the intangible, amazing things about Buxton. Uh, there's like a significant moment when we were talking about like, what does progressive mean? And we were saying it literally means like continuous and like mm -hmm. continuous education and not, this is what I'm gonna teach you so you can get to your next educational place or moment. It's right. like teaching you how to be like a person for your life and in the world and stuff. who has a continuum of experience. Right, and it made me, and I, I talk about it in like my college applications, stuff that we talk about in class. And I want to go to this place because I want to be this person when I come out of it, not because I want to have learned this information. Yeah. And that makes me appreciate yeah. Buxton because I think I'm gonna like who I am when I come out of it right. because of the place. This is a place that's making many, many right decisions. For me, this class, it's been fascinating. And I've learned more in this class than I've learned in almost any class I've ever taken.
feel like I've taken it more than I've taught it. Mm -hmm.